bro if this one has an indoor pool it is going to be so gorgeous i think i prefer an outdoor pool uh, indoor outdoor doesn't matter to me as long as there's a pool what do you think about this one the outside is impressive that's a whole idea we want everybody that comes to our house to be humbled by the glow <laughs> but you know what bro the inside is the most important the inside has to be an experience i think you're right i agree you know what yeah I think we need to see a realtor to show us the houses that are listed. That's exactly what we're doing now. We've mm. been driving around taking pictures so we can show him what we want. Yep. But you know what? We need to check some other streets. As long as it's this neighborhood, Sha. Mm-hmm. Alright, now let's go down there. Rubbish, that nonsense you make the other time. That you packed all the cucumbers in this world. I know you did that thing on purpose. You did it on purpose, right? No, mom. You did it on purpose. No. If you shut your stupid mouth. This time around, if you like, do rubbish because you're now bigger than me, right? Do nonsense. Hmm? You are looking at me. Eh? Mm. You want to beat me? Uh, no. no, beat me now. No. Because you're really looking at me as if you are mates. I'm talking to you, you're looking at me, you're looking at me from up to down. Huh? Sorry. See, this is not a charity organization. Can you hear me? Yes. If you do rubbish, you get rubbish. I'm not even, I'm not even joking with you. Will you just stop all this nonsense pretty party you're always doing? You this annoying idiot, round bon bombastic element like you. Nonsense without ingredients. See, I am warning you. I'm warning you, Tamino, don't try me. Don't try me, can you hear me? Simple, simple message, you cannot go. Simple thing you cannot do. Pay you money for nothing. And if you cry that message for that, I'll just slap your face. Pity party thing, you think it will work for me? Rubbish. Nora, how are you? Can you call your mother for me? Tell her I'm here to see her. Careful, man. Just give me anything soft. Soft thing could be okay. Thank 
気で。Alisa and Victor will be in the forefront of things. Nora will learn from them. I'm sure they've watched their father over the years, and I intend to. Uh -huh. oh, please hold on. Nora, yes, honey. what do you want? Um, Mrs. Oti is downstairs, and there's something I want. What are you doing? I'm just borrowing it. And you think you don't have to ask me before borrowing them? Sorry. Honey, please, I need it. Thank you so much. You're the best. I love you. Thank you. Sorry, Jerry. Nora just invaded my room and took my jewelry. See, they don't understand. <laughs> it's okay, dear. I will have to call you back. I have a visitor. All right, take care. Bye. <sighs> They call from time to time. No issue. No. They only call to check up on us and that's it. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Actually, I don't want to I want to finish the one you gave me. Thank you. You mean no issue? No. So when do we inform her? Bro, I still say that we don't. Okay. So how do we assess the money that we need? She'll hand them over to us. She's been talking about us taking responsibilities. I know, but when? Soon. I am sure of it. She wants us to make that proud and fast. Listen, that doesn't mean that she's going to give us anything than usual monthly allowance. Victor, trust me when I say that she will. Okay? I will feel much better if you tell me that you're going to push for it. I don't want her to suspect anything. Then she won't suspect anything. She won't. Just... I don't know. We just have to get this thing done. Listen, Dad 
kept us low key all these years. Now he's gone. This is our time to go out there, live well, enjoy ourselves. We have what it takes. Fine. I will do my part, but you need to do yours. Remember, you are not just the only son of this family. You are the first child. So you need to demand to start taking charge of things. I will. But remember, don't be forceful. Mom is very fragile. That doesn't mean I'm not going to be firm. Okay. Okay, listen. The whole idea is that you just need to make mom happy about you taking care of things. That's all. Okay. Um, who is it? Come in. Hey. Hey, what's up? Hi, Victor. Are you guys having a private talk? No, no, no. no. Good. Good. Um, uh, sorry, though. Alice, okay. talk later. All right, bro. <coughs> what? Wait. Why are you smiling like this? Do you know that you're one of the nicest girl? Like the most lucky girl I know. How? You can't believe that Julian asked after you five times yesterday. Julian. Julian, wait. By Julian, you mean your brother's best friend? Yes. You know, a lot of girls want to be with him. <laughs> Wait a minute, and you think that I am one of such girls? Uh, I know you've never talked about him, though. Well, I don't, because I don't even notice this guy. Like, what does he drive? It was 2010 Toyota Camry. Like, geez, what am I going to do with a guy like that with no class oh, at all? Come on, Alice. What? It's straight facts. What? <laughs> He's one nice person you will ever meet. Oh he's God. only, he's hardworking, he's humble. Obviously, he's cute and he would love you like you. Barbara. Come on, Bob. Barbara, listen. You're one of the last persons that is not at my level that are allowed close to me. Okay? Excuse me, I need to trash this in front of the chef's face. <laughs> okay. I am so happy that you've become so strong. Mm -hmm. My dear. I have to be strong. I have three children who depend on their mother. Hmm. Oh, since Christopher has decided to leave me, no problem. Hmm. This life. I always remember the Thanksgiving three years ago. The good of it was so good. Poison. Poison? Go for me. Me. I told you to yeah. give me a sweet pineapple and you gave me this sour thing. I'm sorry, that was the only thing left in the fridge. And you couldn't taste it before serving it to me? You instructed me. Are you mad? Are you crazy? And your eyes cannot see that the pineapple is unripe? <laughs> Dear Joe, the pineapple will be the hero inside. So I feel so alive. Are you here to think or do the right thing? Listen, the next time you serve me this bad fruit, that day will be your last day in this house. Sorry, ma. Sorry. Did you just... Did you just speak to me? Are you... Are you mad? Are you mad? <coughs> Rubbish. Settled now. They will sort themselves out. Let's go. When did your children become this way? I have known you for long. You weren't here like this. And your husband too. 
Was it like this? So what went wrong? My sister, it baffles me. Are you sure you are the mother of these children? Or were they exchanged in the hospital? Three eyes? Uh -huh. Because I'm wondering. Why is he calling me and offering me a job? What did you tell him? Oh, who is Patrick? Well, suddenly now you don't know dad's best friend and business partner. What and um, when did he suddenly become Patrick and not Uncle Patrick? That is not the point, mom. I was like, I didn't know who you were talking about. Well, now you know who I'm talking about. Why is he calling me and offering me a job? Doesn't he know I lost my dad? Your father died a year ago. And you're not the only one that lost him. I lost a husband. Patrick, like you call him. Lost a friend and a business partner for 30 years. We're all trying to move on while making your father proud. Well, I'm not interested in anything he has to offer. With bachelor's degree and three masters in the best universities abroad? What do you intend doing? Well, I don't know what you expect me to tell you right now. You still haven't answered my question. I'll get back to you on that when I figure it out. What's your plan? Like... You don't have any plan for yourself? Okay. What was the job description like? Mom, it doesn't matter the job or the company. I am not in the mental state to do any work right now to impress anyone. That is the point. Yes. All right, but I'll still call him to thank him for remembering us. Yeah, and he should not please call me anymore. Not, I, don't, I don't want any calls from him. Victor. Have you suddenly grown wings for the past years in this house? I'm going to bed. Now. Victor! Nice. And that's the way to your bedroom, right? Oh. Yes. Yes. You don't understand, that's what I'm saying. I said I've searched for a job everywhere, but all to no avail. Yes. Oh. I know why this thing is happening like this. You know, I was hoping on Chief. I was hoping on him to do everything for me, but this his death hit me harder than I expected. I did my part, you don't get it. Okay, okay. Right now, I'm the best graduating student in our school there. First class certificate I came out with, so... Mm. 
It's alright. I have to fend for myself. <laughs> yes, I'm fine. <laughs> it's alright. Alright, thank you. Thank you so much for the words of encouragement. <laughs> it's alright. Alright, bye. Family is very rich. How rich? I mean, rich. Our shoes, our clothes, our slippers, everything you think. Ah, designers. Uh, well, but some of these things here don't look authentic at all. They are very authentic. Hello, Alice. Our PA takes videos anytime they are going to shop. Yes. Wait, so is that why all these people are fooling her? Exactly! <laughs> Does she have a house? Uh, you mean a personal house? Yes. I don't know. Barbara, what do you mean by you don't know? You're obviously her fan. I've only seen videos of her father's mansion. Moreover, we I'm really not her fan. I only showed you because you said you wanted to start a YouTube luxury channel. Hmm. Okay, fine. So, who are her friends? Rich girls like her. Big girls like her. I don't know. Celebrities I, like her. I don't know her. Well, your father didn't allow you guys to go out or mingle. So, which is why we must do it now. What are you planning? Girl, Victor and I are moving out of this place. Listen, we cannot continue living here after discovering that my dad had all this money left behind for us. In this Abuja, ABJ, they must know about the Walker siblings. Just wait. <laughs> to where? To a house of our own, of course. Where? What kind of house? A big kind. Listen, girl, and I will soon let you know where it's going to be located. Very soon. But, Alice, where will you get me? Goodness gracious me. Babes. My father has been disguising all these years. He worked so that we can fly. Okay, babes? And very soon, my mother will start releasing most of my father's money to Victor and I. Uh, Alice, are you sure? What's that? What do you mean by, am I sure? What's that? Your father might have given her instructions. The instructions were clearly stated on the will. My father asked her to gradually start handing over things to us. Uh, but there is no timeline. Well, we'll give her a timeline. You know my mom, with a little pressure, she will succumb. Just like that, you know now. As a matter of fact, let me go and see Victor real quick. I'm coming. Sorry, excuse me. I will be right back. Oh, Barbara, one more thing. Mm -hmm. You're going to be my new PA, so get ready to start doing all my videos. My new PA. Woo! Yes! <laughs> a new job. PA. Yeah. Okay. Moving her from this house to a big house. Hmm. <sighs> Barbara. Sorry. Yeah. I'm looking at the uh, the Porsche 911 Turbo S Cabriolet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's about the same price with the Ashton Martin. Yeah, the D. Yeah, 11 Volante, yeah. Yes, Volante. And about 100 million, give or take. 2019, yeah. No, 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 no. That one is cheaper. Uh -huh. the, uh, the Porsche. Yeah, the Porsche uh, Taycan Art Car 2023. Only about 92 million. I <laughs> got you the man. You the man. For you to even suggest Mazda, your Mazda the man. Guy, the Chris. Mazda, Mazda kill you there. And they tell you say they try shop down everywhere. Make everybody they Google my name. They call me Mazda. Guy, yo. Guy, do it till I talk, Jerry. I won't pay for it. Huh? <laughs> Idiot. Foolish boy. <laughs> bye, 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 bye. Get back to me, man. I'll talk to you later.
What was that? Uh, that was Morgan. You know his brother sells luxury cars. I want to get one. Oh. You want to get one? Yeah. How much? About a hundred mil, baby. Perfect! You know what? Let's get another one, maybe in a different color. Yeah. So wherever we go, it's double the delight. Yup, you know this, bro! You hey, know! Two, two, two it is. Mm -hmm. I'm texting him right now. Wait, wait, wait. You know what? I just thought of something what? that will work for us. Listen. We will not only have a house party with friends, but we're going to make it super, super attractive that even celebs will attend. And why exactly do we need that? <laughs> we want to be relevant, right? Right. And we want to be seen and known, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what we want will be easy with some celeb connect. Mm. And how are we going to achieve that? <laughs> Look, one of us will be celebrating our birthday soon. Yeah, but both our birthdays are to the end of the year. <laughs> well, apart from our family members, who else knows our exact birthday dates? Yeah, but when it goes viral, we can't change it back to the original birthday. Hmm. Nice. You have a point. You know what? Let's figure out something else to celebrate. But first, we have to buy the house and have it trending online. Mm -hmm. mm. Mm -hmm. So that when we invite them, it's too easy for them to come. You know it! You know! And also, we will connect with some of our friends that Dad never allowed us to connect with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they're rich and they would attract the same type of people. Well. Bro! Exactly! You're getting... Oh my god, bro! I like, I like that. That's you... my sister right there. Oh my god. Cheers, 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 cheers. Mm. 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 Look. They will know us now in this town, the Walker siblings. They will know us in this town. Really know. I see myself being the next Lagos governor. Who? Mm -hmm. Then I'll conquer Abuja. <laughs> <laughs> Abuja will conquer this town. Where's my sister? She went to your brother's room. Barbara, I needed to step out. I need some minutes. I need to talk to my sister. You mean I should go out? Yes. And don't stay close to the door. Shush. Sorry. Hi, what's up? Why are you showing me an alert on your phone? Look at the sum. Sis! How did you get all that money? Well, I sold mom's jewelry. What? I told you it's not so difficult to get money out of this house. How did you get mom's jewelry? Ah, uh, well, I went to her room. I took it. She saw me in. She didn't say anything, so. Sis, wait, hold on. Are you trying to tell me that one jewelry gave you all that money? Nope, not just one. What if she comes for them? She can't come for them. You know mom now. Small resistance like this now. She'll give up. So true. True. So <clears throat> what? Are we still getting the house? And a car. Ooh. Mm -hmm. What kind? An expensive kind. Okay. <laughs> nice. So how about going to Turkey? After the house and the car. <laughs> Say no more. Finally, we'll leave this cage. <laughs> Sis, it's long overdue. Oh, gosh. And one more thing. Mm -hmm. You need to stop being friends with that girl. 
She does nothing for you. She's only here because this house is like heaven compared to theirs. Listen, you need to filter your friends. You can't just be with a regular person. Get new sets of friends. Hey girl, it's a no match. You know what, sis? I have actually been thinking about that. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. That's my love. <laughs> Okay. Hey, there's something I wanted to show you. Okay, let's see. This girl. You know her? Yeah, mom. What? What is it? Are you busy? Your pants. We need to talk. <sighs> Why is it wrong? Not like there's a problem. I want us to put things together. You're your father's first and only son. Mm -hmm. So I want you to take charge. And this includes the real estate company. Mr. Patrick is in charge of that already. You had the will. I don't know why he's the one in charge. It doesn't make any sense, Mom. He has given 30 years to this company. He's been a worthy partner to your father. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm not even interested in it, so what else? What are you interested in? Is that why you came here? To ask me what I'm interested in? I am curious. This is the reason why I'm here because I don't want us to suffer in your father's absence. Hmm. Mom, come on. Suffer. We are very rich. In fact, we're wealthy. Okay? Dad was so modest. But his will has revealed so much more. We have money. The whole money might not be ours. Well, the will says it is. The will didn't say if your father had an unfinished business. The will didn't say if this house and other properties has been used for collateral. Mom, why are you sounding like this? Why? I'm scared of the little things your father didn't say before he died. That's why I am prepared in case. And you have to think of accepting Mr. Patrick's job offer. No way. Mom, no. I am not going to work. I'm not ready. Even when dad was alive and he gave me very little money, he never bothered me about work. So please take that out of the equation. He sent you to the best university. You have three masters. He wanted you to school, come back home and make use of it. Mom, I am not interested, okay? I don't want to work. Let me know how much of the money is mine so I can set myself up. That's when we know if the whole money is ours. Well, the will says you're going to share the money. As I see fit. Well, I hope it's soon. Because I need money. You have an I don't have money. Those peanuts doesn't do anything for me. Mom, I need... Mom!
to my room, please. What's going on? How am I supposed to know? I just had a chat with your brother. And I'm, I'm not happy. Okay, what did you people talk about? The future. <laughs> what about the future? How we can take care of ourselves so we don't go broke in the nearest future. <laughs> What have I said that is funny? Gosh, mom, we're all there when that view was read. And we realize that dad has been too modest, never allowing us to spend money when he has so much. Which is wrong. That was so unfair to us. You think your father wronged you by insisting on living a quiet life, void of wastefulness, and sending you kids abroad to get a great future for yourselves? Mom. In as much as his intentions were noble, we think he overdid it. His intentions are noble. And I love your father for what he did. I love the kind of man he is. He's not the type who says things that he's not. And that's the kind of life he wants you guys to live. Fine. We'll be all he wants us to be. As long as you release our monies. Well, the money is the reason why I called the both of you. I got a message from Mr. Patrick. Okay, a message about what? Your father is wearing a lot of money. He collected a huge loan. She's joking, right? Ask her. Mom, you're kidding, right? Kidding who? Do you know how terrified I am to see this thing happen? Because it has happened before. I discussed with Victor only to walk in here and see this message. Wait, Mama, are you about to cry? Mr. Patrick will be here anytime soon. He will explain to us. Vito, Vito, there is a big problem. What is it? Listen, Mr. Patrick wants to take our money. And how do you know that? He sent a message to mom saying that dad took some huge loans. Meaning that mom would have to pay off the loans. Yes. With our money. Yes, and she's panicking already. No wonder he offered me a job. He offered you a job? Yes. What did you say? No, of course. I need to talk to mommy. Okay, what, what are you going to tell her? What will you say? I'll tell her to give us most of our money and then use the rest to offset the loan. <laughs> what if all the money is not enough? It has to be enough. It has to be. We can sell some of the houses. No, we need those houses. See, with this whole loan thing, we need to let go of some things. <sighs> let me talk to mom first. Then I'll get back to you guys. Smokers are liable to die young. Hey. Ha! This one ping me! Ha! This one pain past breakfast. Victor, please leave me. I am not feeling well. What's going on? My fear seems to be coming to pass. How? Mr. Patrick just called. He'll be here tomorrow. To tell us about the money that our dad owes. Yes. They sent a message earlier. God, please help me. I, I can't be broke. I, I can't. Well, I hope you.
is coming with the documents to prove this whole loan thing. He has to say the word. <sighs> just, I just can't imagine being broke. <sighs> so now, please, stop. It is not enough. I'll be so disappointed in your father if the money in that will is meant to pay back loan. I used to admire him when he cuts down on waste. Little did I know that the money is not even in. Mom, please, just stop. Please. Let's hear from Mr. Patrick first and then we can take it from there, okay? Yeah, I can't. I can't. Oh. Oga David Odogu. Ah, Mr. Roy. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Anna. I'm happy to see you. Thank you, sir. Ah, don't well press well you don't know. Ah, good evening. Good evening. Yeah. Good evening. Thank God, though. Yeah. You're welcome. Mm -hmm. oh, How, was your... <laughs> How was your day? Fine, though. <laughs> welcome. Thank you. Oh God, David, I did come for you today. Mm. Whatever you, anything where you did do here now, <laughs> this pressing, I did come. Me and you today, <laughs> now who did you? I get this. Hey, this is my neighbor, Roy. Eh? <laughs> you kill me. Oh God, David, now me and you get this. What you happen? Ah, oh God, David, ah. oh God, David, you don't depress this thing. You, you depress this thing. Also, for show me the road now. <laughs> I'm bad now. Don't be greedy. My neighbor, Roy. How many people get soap go cut the person? Eh? He says they talk cut soap, cut soap. You be like, say, I get soap, I know really cut for you. See, now my laptop is this. Now, what can they use and find online? Eh? Says they talk this. <laughs> my person will know where the carry person go. I cannot go carry you go where you don't know. I beg. <laughs> oh, baby, you say, wait, they look for a job. You are fresh like this. You are whining. Ah, oh God, David, why now? If you want the greedy, just let me say they go. I beg no vessel. You don't go to school. Roy, I go to school where well now. I beg where you stop. I stop for masters. Masters? Oh God, David, no vessel. This is what I want to talk. Me no, me no come vessel. They don't put candle for your hand also. Oh, forbid. You don't they swim in the night. It's not my portion. Stop saying that. There must be something wrong. Something is wrong. Oh. I beg you, boy. See, see, see. I just want something I can be doing to help myself. Even if it's ordinary, you know, jobs, security work, I wouldn't mind. You know, say this belly will carry, you know, they talk with you in job. I beg. If there's anything way if you do to help your neighbor, I wouldn't mind. I would appreciate it. Oga okay, David, no this. Even me where you see so eh, now security at the room for this anger. Huh? Now I'm a security personnel. Wait, wait, wait. You're a security personnel? Yes, now. Oh, I beg. I want to join you now. You, you okay. security. You, you, security. You know, you fine, who? You be handsome. Uh, see, you don't understand. Belinda, they talk with you in chop. You don't understand. Oh, God, David. Has he been about? Let me just be frank with you. I'll help you. We rise by lifting orders. You understand? Oh. If I if my ogre come, I go reintroduce you to my ogre. Oh, thank you. Hope you are interested. God bless you, my brother. If you tell me say you know they're interested. <laughs> nah, nah. nah. <laughs> in the press laptop every day. I still better pass you. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Nice. Better pass in never. Why is mom not coming out? You know how easily she panics. And that's why dad didn't let her lack anything. See, if truly all the money is gone, taking care of mom would be our biggest problem. Hey, 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 listen. 
There's no way all that money is going anywhere. So let's relax. Okay. Just saying. He's here. You need to go and get more. Come. You're still here. I don't think I can sit there and listen to whatever he has to say. Mom, you need to pull yourself together and come downstairs. If there is anything to defend, you will be able to defend it. I am not releasing a dime for any loan. Your father never mentioned any loan to me. Well, it seems it was not every business decision that that, too, that he talked to you about. But whether you're going to release any money or not, it is a decision that you will take after you hear what he has to say. Alice, this is difficult for me. Well, Mom, it is actually difficult for all of us. But we need to understand what is going on. And you need to look strong. Because if Mr. Patrick is trying to steal what Dad left for us, then he needs to know that you're not an easy fry. Fine. So, Mom, pull yourself together and come downstairs. I will. Like right now, immediately, Mom. All right, I've heard you. Okay. Look, I'm just going to tell him that, you know, you're taking a call or something, okay? So, hurry up. don't have a better plan than all I suggested for you. Well, I disagree. Working for you is not my only option in life. Who said it is? And what if I want to start my own business? My dad left more than enough money for me to do that. Hmm. Are you sure he did? What do you mean, am I sure he did? I'm just asking question. Alice, what do you do now? I just finished my master's. And what do you want to do? Still thinking about it. You should come by by the office and see what you can take care of. Are you asking me to come work for you? <laughs> More like work for your father and I? but you're the only owner of the company now. True. Your father and I laid that foundation. Still does not change the fact that you are the one in charge now. It was your father's decision. I'm not disputing that. I'm... Mr. Patrick. Mrs. Walker. It's so good to see you. It's good to see that you're getting back to your good self again. That's what my husband has always wanted. True. No, he doesn't want to see me sad. Yeah, you said you wanted to discuss something with us. Oh, sorry. What do I offer you? Not to worry. Tamon already offered me something. But I'm fine. Thank you again. All right. So, let it out. Let's hear it. I sent you a text before I called you. Yes. I still think we should be able to talk this between the two of us. I told you the kids are grown up and they are ready to take up responsibilities. So whatever it is, they should be included in the discussion. Very well then. Earlier on today, bankers came to my office and I asked for information. And when they brought the information, that's when I called to see you. And what is this information? I came personally because I think the situation is about to get ugly. Ugly? How do you mean? 
your husband had gotten a loan to build an ultra modern estate before he died. But the ugly part of it is that the money is no small amount of money. So why are you just finding out this now? My husband has been dead for over a year. Because nobody came to my office with such a huge claim of sum of money. Okay. How much are we looking at? Um, like I was saying, um, he was planning on building an ultra-modern estate. How much loan are we talking about? Let me finish, boy. I know, Mr. Patrick. How much? The more you delay, the more anxious I get. Because the way I'm looking at this whole thing, <laughs> it's going to turn out a shocking revolution. Eight point nine billion naira. No. 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 Elvina. Wait, wait. No. No. Elvina. No. 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 I came no. to see how I can help. No, this is not happening. How do we know that this loan thing is actually real? What did you just say? How do we know it is real? My father never mentioned it to any of us. Not to my mom. It's not in his will. Do you think your father knew he was going to die? I have been in business with your father way before you were born. How dare you insinuate I'm making this up? I'm just asking a question. Anyway, when the bankers and everybody come, I'll point them out to come to you. Alvina, there, there are still things we need to talk about. Look, can this be discussed some other time? Clearly, my mother is not taking this news very well. Alvina, I just, I just wanted to know how I can be of help. I hate to be a, a bearer of bad news, please. Nobody should even tell me we are broke. Nobody should tell me that. Hey, what are we going to do now? I don't know. I don't know. Listen, if this means that we have to use the money that left us to pay back that loan, I will never forgive our father. The money that left us is not even up to 8.9 billion naira. In fact, it is far below that. We'll have to start selling off things and that will not even be enough. Hey, God. Hey, they play. Just they play. Hey, God, I pray. Mom, what are we going to do? I don't know. I predicted this. It was still on my lips. And it has come to reality. I know your father loved to challenge himself. But I felt he was trying to do so much. The biggest this, the biggest that. He knew I would support this, so he did it behind my back. Mom, you need to stop crying so that we can figure a way out of this. I have seen this before. From so much to so little, it is terrible. Mom, we cannot be talking about that right now. And what are we talking about? 
have always been scared of this since your father's will was read. Your father never shares money. How did he get to? Asking me to share money to your kids. I knew something was wrong. So you were truly expecting this all this while? <sighs> yeah, a bit, but... 8.9 billion there alone is beyond my imagination. Oh, please, you cannot be believing everything that this Mr. Patrick says without concrete investigation. Are you saying he made it up? Or like he is a kind of a jobless person? And you think our father will leave us in this kind of situation? I, I don't, I don't, I can't answer this right now because I am heartbroken. <sighs> well, I need to see this evidence of this so-called loan, if I can believe a word he's saying. He said he's going to direct the bank to us, which I think we should not agree to it. Why? because he has been dealing with them. He knows the detail of the transaction. He's used to this type of thing. So you believe everything that man says? No. We are going to see the documents and confirm that he's not taking us for a ride. Then what? Then we have him work on the payback with us. Mom, say something. I don't have anything to say now. It's, it's just too sudden. It's, it's so much. You know what? I'm done with this rubbish, okay? Victor! I'm done with this talk. You know what this means? I do. Gosh. Just as we are about to start living the lives we wanted, this happens. But Victor, before we walked into mom's room, I told you to hide how disappointed we feel towards mom so that she can open up to us. Maybe there's some money stashed up somewhere or something. The way mom is crying, there's no money anywhere. Don't you get it? Are we broke? We don't know yet. Victor, I think you need to get close to Uncle Patrick. For what? Because he's the only one that knows exactly what this is. When you go close to him, then we know if this is true or he's just trying to steal from us. I am not getting close to him. What exactly did he do to you? Because I heard the both of you arguing downstairs when Alice went to get mom. And it's no longer Uncle Patrick. It's now Patrick or Mr. Patrick. Yeah, like what exactly did he tell you at that burial? Because that is when I started noticing you disliking him. He treated me like a kid. He told me before I make any decision, I had to ask for his permission first. <laughs> Wait, because you're a baby or what? Imagine that. I'm never going to accord to him any respect that will make him look down on me ever again. Gosh, I just wish that mommy can be strong and firm just this once. So that we cannot get robbed. Mom is used to having everything easy for her. That's why she can't fight for anything. Mm. And Mr. Patrick knows it. Which is going to be a nightmare if we are really going broke. And then we have to deal with mom and her crying and depression. So what are we going to do? For me, I'm going back to my second country. Thank God for dual citizenship. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah. I'm fine, but then we all leave. Wait, an abandoned mom here. She can go and stay with her family. But they will hate us if we just leave her here like that. Yeah. Where are you going? This working is making me home. Me too.
Whose is this? It's my mother. Is that pineapple? Yes, ma'am. Banana? Yes, Aunt Simone. And almond milk? Yes. I need smoothie. Okay. Oh, make me some smoothie too. Is there still some rice? Yes. I need a little with some chicken and make sure the rice is steaming hot. You know that kind of pasta you normally make? I need that as well. Okay. You know what? As a matter of fact, I need some mac and cheese. Mm -hmm. And just add that chef salad by the side of the kumi pasta. Make sure you put a lot of avocados. And I don't want too much cucumbers. You're supposed to do this tomorrow. I think you need to start boiling this now. Let me go to the supermarket and get some almonds. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sorry. food well there are some food stuff but no cooked food it's just little rice in the pot uh, cook it now put hit it i want to eat i'm hungry you want to eat i want to eat it it won't even be enough for me how is it that there's food stuff in this house and there's no food <laughs> i don't know but i noticed she was trying to cook soup and stew ah, please oh i'm hungry i'm hungry i don't like this kind of talk i'm hungry what's it doing Where's the jewelry box? Did she remove it? So. The chef? Someone who almost died is who we are asking of like this. What? The doctor said we were very lucky. I don't know what would have happened if she died here. What was wrong with her? I said exhaustion, drop in blood pressure, something, blood flow, oxygen, kidney, uh, brain. I don't even know. That sounds serious. And um, she's not coming back anytime soon. <sighs> Mommy, we need to get a part-time chef or make one permanent. No, no chef is coming to this house. I am not ready to see anyone on the floor of the kitchen. Out of my way, please. Me? Are you expecting me to go cook for you? I don't understand. Why is she laying her frustrations out on me? So what are you going to do? I don't know. This is even the first time we're having just one chef in this house. Like I've never even cooked before. You need to get a new chef for me. It all together, make you thank God. Oh, let me bring it to your notice. Stay humble, stay cool, no the fun boss. Oh, Cause nobody knows tomorrow. Oh, way. The way you live in your life, no forget it tomorrow. Oh, way. Yeah. Nobody can tell the future. Who is that? Mom. What is it? I came so you can find out what we're supposed to do about the chef. How? Are we supposed to handle our hospital bills? Of course. Hello, Mr. Patrick. Yes, I'm doing good. 
What? You're handing everything to Victor? How do you expect him to handle the situation? I still don't understand how you're my husband's partner and you didn't know anything about the loan. I am not blaming you. Well, you can dump this on us and walk away. Victor had every right to question the loan. Okay then, fine. Let him come and make me understand this whole thing because it's not making sense anymore. I'll be expecting you tomorrow. Who is he coming with? The bankers. This is the more reason why you have to draw close to Mr. Patrick. You have to accept the job offer. I am not liking this whole thing, but the way I'm saying it, we may end up on the street. Mom, please, can you just stop? Please, stop saying that. Please. What do you expect me to say? One minute, I want to share tons of millions to my children. The next minute, I'm made to pay loans with the money. How do we survive? Honestly, this whole thing, <laughs> it's getting out of hand. Honestly, it's... <sighs> so what can we offer you? We're very much fine, Ma. Thank you. So my husband collected a loan from your bank. These are the loan documents with letter of consent inclusive. You can call the managing director to verify the document. And also you can call your account officer if you wish to discuss anything in private that you don't want to discuss with us. Why do you think I want to go through the documents you're giving me? Mrs. Walker, I told them you had your doubts. Yes, that's because my husband never discussed anything with me. I fully understand. And that's why I'm here to help um, extend the repayment plan for the loan. So I remember, 50% of the loan must be paid within these few weeks. If not, the bank will take over the properties, including this one. What? Ma, your husband used this house, three others, and four hectares of land as collateral. Mrs. Walker, Victor, before we commit, I think we need to talk privately. Gentlemen, may you please excuse us. We'll be back in a few minutes. Why that man is so upset, please. Don't even know what's wrong with him. called mom and I aside and was trying to get us to, 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 to know the things we were supposed to agree to. I asked him, how can he help us? And he almost beat my head off like I, I said something out of cr some craziness, telling me I, I need to man up and take care of my own mother. Okay, he said that in front of mom? He said that in front of mom like I don't know how to take care of my own mother. Well, where is he now? Still talking to mom downstairs. Anyway, since everybody is busy, I might just go take care of myself. What, what, what are you talking about? Don't worry. Where is Alice? She's struggling in the kitchen.
I just want to wear a necklace. To wear? A, a friend's get together. Which friend? Besides, where is the one you took the other time? Mommy, you have a whole lot. I just want to wear this. Will you drop that necklace? Do you think I'm in the mood for this? Do you even have an idea of what is going on in this house right now? Mommy, this is just a necklace. Out of my room. Get out! It's just a necklace. I don't know why you're being stingy about it. Did you just speak to me in that manner? Get out. Get out! It's 100% authentic. How is it 100% authentic? So it's official. This house is no longer ours. We can't pay. Victor, we can't. Well, you don't know that. You don't know what we could script from all the lands and the, the commercial houses. Still, it will not be enough. <sighs> How have you been? <sighs> Hiding from mom. Why? <sighs> well, she caught me trying to take her jewelry. What? Are you seriously trying to sell all her jewelry? No. Just a few so I can get my plane ticket. And from the look of things, I don't think she will let me into her room again. What happened? She almost cut my head off. See, something has definitely happened to of mom. Of course something has definitely happened to mom. All this thing happening is frustrating her. And you're thinking of running away? Alice! Mom? Dina? Mom! Can you please tell Nora to help me? Are you serious? Can't you tell me that yourself? I did it in the morning. You never helped me. Whatever you two decide to do, let it make dinner happen within an hour. Alice! Mom! Mom, can we talk? About what? It's about the loan. I am too angry to talk about that now. You go discuss with Mr. Patrick. Mom, you know I'm not comfortable with him. Victor, in life sometimes, we stoop to conquer. Come down from your high horse and go to him. Show him you respect him. I'm sure he will be ready to render any help you need. And if he does not? We'll move to my father's house if the house is taken. What? I cannot kill myself. Whatever you come up with, that's what we'll follow. So wait, everything is on top of my head now? Are you a kid? Do I need to tell you that you are now the father of the house and start thinking and acting like one? <laughs> you having a sense of responsibility is very important or else this will be the end of us. I need to rest. I'm lighting up right now. Fine. Fine. See, I have heard you. I'm looking for the... I have it with me. Tell them I'll, I'll be with you shortly. Yes. I'm trying to... Okay, okay. That's not a problem. I'll be with you shortly. Yes, yes. Okay, I think I have it here. See, just hold on, okay? Hold on for me. I'll be there soon. 
Okay, all right, just hold on, okay? All right. What is this? Mom, I tried. A burnt offering for breakfast? Mom, I'm not a chef, okay? Wait, you want to give me poison? It's not your fault. You see the blame? Put it on me. I'm not eating this. Tell Victor I'll see him in an hour time. He shouldn't go anywhere. Somebody's crush. It's not that bad. Listen, check the book. Those stocky wares, the ones that have sold and the ones that are still in stock. I can't be losing money. Call Mrs. Thompson. Do a follow-up and collect my money from her. I'll be with you shortly. Okay. Come in. Sit. I was too angry to speak the other time. If you still need my advice, I can give it. I still need it, Mom. I get a smaller place and move us in. They're going to take this house. So pessimistic. Why? Listen, let's stop kidding ourselves. There's no place to raise the amount of money your father took. They gave us this year to pay half of the money and the balance the next year. How much is half of the money? $4.450 billion. Do you have an idea how much that is? Your father has block of flats somewhere. Not in a choice environment, but it's good. Some two bedroom, some three. Well furnished. Do they've used some for short leases. We don't need to pay a dime. So you want to live there? I need solution to this. The three of you are graduates. You can get jobs to help yourselves. It's just for a short time. I don't see us suffering for too long. I don't want to take this to myself alone. I believe you're old enough to take care of the family. And I am officially handing it over to you. Making me and your father proud is not up to you. I know I am very angry right now, but I want you to know that I still believe in you. Thank you, Mom. I have to think about it. Sure. You can call Mr. Patrick or your father's sister. Auntie Mary is one of the smartest women I've ever seen. Talk to them and find out their opinion. No. I don't need to talk to anyone or call anyone. I'll think about this myself. Fine. I'll get back to you before the end of today, Mom. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. 
What did she call you for? Victor, say something. Mom is giving the house to the bank. What? So where are we going to stay? In a flat owned by dad somewhere. Where? I don't know. I have to check and get back to you. You don't even know and you want us to go there. Mom will never agree to that. Mom is the one who suggested it. And I can tell you why. Why? The loan is too much. It's too much. And Dad put this house as a collateral. <sighs> Giving the bank the house will give us some peace of mind and enough time to pay off the rest. We're even about to tell you that we should just travel out of the country. I can't do that. I can't go anywhere. Why not? Everything that involves us as a family is now under my care. <laughs> Wait, you're joking, right? What will mom be doing? Mom is the one who put me in charge. So I can't run away. If you get a job abroad, that's fine. You can leave. You know we can leave without you, right? Sure. Go ahead. But do not call us for money or protection. Get a job, take care of yourself, be safe. Life is not a bed of roses. I'm going, so if you have going downstairs to look for something. Lunch. Stay humble, stay Victor, dinner. Cause nobody knows tomorrow away. The way you live in your life, not forget it tomorrow away. Yeah. Nobody can tell the future. Oh, you know you need to reduce the way you so smoke. This life humble you. You, you. Just be careful what you do, 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 do. Yeah. Smoke cars are liable to die young. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, wait. yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. One moment you'll be bawling. You'll be feeling like the world moves around you. Yeah. No breaks, no stopping. Yeah, you know, send nobody, but what you don't realize, life is so unpredictable in the place of death. Nora, Nora, please, I need help. Nobody knows tomorrow. The way you're living your life, don't forget tomorrow. Can't you see that I need help? Yeah. Oh, well, I don't see no labor. Nora. If you don't help me right now, I am going to go straight to mom and tell her you don't like helping me here. You know how angry she is at everything right now. You're saying it as if I'm scared of mom. What would she do? Alice! Mom? Alice! Mom! Alice! Mom? Understand what I say or you go learn the hard way. Because nobody knows tomorrow. The way you live your life, don't forget it tomorrow. Okay, mom. Alice, be fast about it. Yes, mom. Yes, mom. Listen, listen to me. I am not seeing anything. The total amount here I'm seeing is totally different from what you sent to me. Don't give me that. I'm losing a lot. The hairs. I'm not seeing anything written here. That what? See, if I come to the shop, you will not like me. What I have here with me, the amount is not the same with what you sent to me. Please check. What? Tax force? How? Why do they want me to evacuate there? I've, I've been using... I've been doing business there for years. No, no, no. I know. Th this is not possible. Not at this time. Why is everything happening at the same time? 
No, no. Okay, okay. Are, are they still around? Okay, okay. I'll come. Okay, okay. Oh. Mom. I need to advise you on something. And you need to join force with your brother to move things forward in this house. Your father and I were a team. That's why I am angry about what is happening right now. When you were little, your father and I traveled to any country of my choice. He was busy doing business. I was there raising you children. Your grandmother and aunt will come take care of you while we travel. When you grew up and went to school, I started helping with business decision. Yet he didn't tell you about this mom. Yeah. He told me about a, an estate project. But I told him he was too ambitious and wasn't ready for it. And he didn't take your advice. One time he didn't. Land us in this huge problem. You need to know your place in this house. Your contribution determines whether we get out of this or not. How? Walk with your brother and make sure we feed well. Also guide your sister. Mom, you suddenly pushed me to the kitchen and now I have to just... I didn't push you to the kitchen. The chef almost died. She cooks like non-stop. You'll come with your demand. Nora will come with hers. Victor will come with his own. She never leaves the kitchen. So I'm being punished because of this. What are you talking about? Why would you see cooking for us as punishment? Do you want hunger to kill us in this house? I know I messed up by surrounding you with house helps all these years. Because they were efficient. I never bothered with the domestic. I would have allowed you to learn from the chef. By now you won't call this punishment. Whatever you need to do, Buy a cookery book. Learn online. Make sure you feed us. Lead your brother to lead us well. And, um, you know, you are an extremely intelligent girl. Apply that intelligence to get us out of this. I am emotionally downcast. And um, the doctor has asked me to rest. So I won't get high blood pressure. You didn't say you were going to the doctors. Well, I... To raise an alarm. Um, yeah, I am fine. It's just not to stress out, you know. And um, I've advised your brother. So you go talk to him. Let's know what he's planning. I hope he uses the advice well. That's all. Two of you, bring those bags. Get the bag, get the bags. Hurry. These boxes are heavy. Me, I don't have the strength. Ah. Uh, my 
you taking that one now? Why are you carrying this? I don't understand. Why are you carrying this one? Carry your own. Yeah, I'm rushing. I'm coming right. Hold on. Uh, let me call you back. Hi. Jesus. Oh, sorry. Wow. I'm David. Carry this thing. So you don't, you can't help me. Hi. It's like you're our new neighbor. My name is David. What you're telling me is that you and Nora stay in this room? There are only three rooms in this house. My mom is in one and Victor is in the other. And you cook? Yes. My mom has refused to invite any of the other chefs and our main chef is no longer working with us. That means you people are officially poor. What's that? Why are you saying it like that? You are. Come on, Alice. I think it's high time you came down from your eye us. I have been taking too much from you, thinking something you would change. But now. Nah. What are you doing? While you're dealing with life, I would offer you my shoulder if you ever need help. And if you ever need me, you know where to find me. For the first time. What? I think she just told me to go to hell. Ah. <laughs> so Barbara has grown wings. Looks like it. Everything is changing. <sighs> this is just so frustrating. It's so unfair. Father, we thank you for the provision of this meal. Bless it and make it a nourishment to our body in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Wow. I see we've been praying religiously since we got into this house. And we didn't need to eat together this often before. I guess this is an opportunity for us to do the good things we never did before. We also need to pray to get out of this quickly. Did I just chew a junk of spices? Oh, Alice. Alice, what kind of cooking is this? Mom, what do you mean? It's just a mistake. No, this mistake is unacceptable. What if we had a visitor? Mom, mom, can you at least acknowledge the fact that I went from never being in the kitchen to practically living there? I'm tired. I need to get out of this country, I beg. What's all this? It's frustrating. Victor, the next time she or any of you leaves the table while I am still there, that person will be dealt with. Mom, it's okay. I'll talk to her.
Mom is not happy that you walked out on her like that. Well, she doesn't seem to be happy about a whole lot of things these days. But it would be good for her to realize that I am not her husband that kept the business deal away from her and consequently forced us here. There's a lot of things mom used to overlook that she doesn't overlook anymore. Okay? I left her. I don't say something disrespectful. See, maybe we should just take some money and leave this place. She probably needs space. Guys, come on, relax, okay? Mom is not the problem here. Taking some money and then leaving is not the solution either. Victor, we still have 40 million naira. Let us share it so that we can all decide what we want to do with our money. It's dangerous. Okay, we have nothing to fall back on. We should be thinking about what to invest our money in. Okay? The agreement clearly stated that we should leave the big house, all the money, except the 40 million naira. Which I insist that we do not share. I say we share. Yes, me too. I did. I, we should share it. Listen dad me. wanted us to have access to some of the money. He said so in his will. What dad put in the will, the condition, is not the reality we are facing. I will go to mom, I will talk to her. To take it easy on us, but we are not sharing anything. Victor has changed. <laughs> Responsibility has changed him. I just wish there is a way we can just get our hands on that money. I need to get out of here. Now what's this? Like just, just look at look at look at look look look. See where we are. Just look, see. Come on, you can't be serious. But I am. I support we share the money. I am tired of this country. I want to leave. Mom. You and I both know that 10 million naira is not money. You can't even stretch it beyond one year abroad. You want to leave. What if the money finishes? What next? I don't know. Mom, I suggest that we find a way to invest that money together. Do it as a team. I'm going to talk to Uncle Patrick. And we'll figure out a way out of this together. No. You won't do that. I can't stay here anymore. Patrick. So, Victor now reports the family to you? Nah, not like that. I actually had told Victor to call me anytime he needs something. And right now, he needs me to explain a few things to the family. What is Thank you, Uncle Patrick, for coming. As I explained over the phone regarding the argument, I called you because you, you're a big part of the family. You're a big part of my father's life. And I would love to hear your opinion on the matter. Very well, Victor. I must say I'm truly proud of you. There was a time Calling me will have been the last thing you will have done. Look at you. Acting responsibly and very matured. You truly have earned my respect. Thank you, sir. You know, a lot has happened that has changed me. I'm not ashamed to say that it has humbled me and opened my eyes to different ways of thinking. Well, that is life for you. Now, back to the issue in contention. I think it would be a mistake for the remaining money to be shared. And your reason is? The loan has taken over everything your husband built. The remaining money should be invested. We need money. Yeah. You can get one or two million, buy a few of your favorite things, start your own business, but the chunk of the money remaining must be invested. One or two million cannot be enough to buy tickets out of this country. I never opted for this kind of life. My husband understood. 
That was why he never let me stress. I thought I could do this, but no. I, I need to leave this country. M Mommy, you want to travel out? Yes, I am tired. If your father had listened to me, he would have bought the best house we saw in Atlanta. That would have been my resting place now. Mrs. Walker, I understand your need to travel to rest. Not just yet. I need you here. I need you here so we'll be able to get back your husband's properties and in, probably in exchange for something else. There are positions in the office. Victor, Nora, Alice could come in for. I can actually make good recommendations for good companies. for this please with this you're screaming you're disturbing other tenants and look at this our neighbors look at the way they are staring at you please next time tone down okay i don't invited this caricature to speak to me excuse me what do you just call me oh you're excused i know you have a problem you might be passing through a lot but please we all have our different problems take your own why i take my behave <sighs> If you are that intelligent, then I guess that the federal government should employ you as a special advisor to the president. Low life. Hello, hello. Rubbish. What did you just call me? Oh, shut up, rubbish. I don't blame you. Look at her. Nora, what's all this now? What's all this with all these dirty dishes? Can't you help with the dirty dishes? For once. Please, please rest. Rest in Jesus' name. Ah, ah, why are you shouting at me like that? You did not channel this energy to that guy you were talking to outside of. What's that? Me and who? What's yeah. that? You think I didn't see the both of you? See, point of notice. You are not into struggling guys. Hmm? I hope you read my lips well. I'm so sorry for that little drama that happened between us in the morning. It's not, I'm not that kind of person. Please forgive me. I'm sorry too. Just that I'm going through some stuff right now. It's alright. We're neighbors. <laughs> we don't need to be quarreling. Okay? Cool, fine. So we're cool now? Yeah, cool. Well, I'm David. Alice. Nice meeting you. Nice meeting you too. It's alright. So, how are your people? Are they? It's alright. Yeah, you know, send nobody. But what you don't realize. Nora, Alice, hurry, I don't want to be late. In the blink of an eye. Mom, what is it? So, you all are walking now, struggling. Mom, it's really not that difficult. Why are you sad? I'm just remembering the kind of life we used to have. The freedom you had. Mom, we are alive, okay? 
Moreover, we've wiped ourselves so clean that Dad would be so proud of us now. Yeah. Cleaning for ourselves. Cooking for ourselves. Mingling among the low-class people. Mom. Stop, please. This life is so unfair. Have a nice day at work. Thank you, Mom. Why can't Mom be happy for us? We're trying our best. Don't worry, she's gonna get used to it. Well, I thought I'd be the last to get used to all of this. But clearly, Mom takes the cake. Alright guys, let's move. Yeah, let's go. Okay. You're welcome. Thank you. Please sit down. Thank you. Ah. At least walk. <laughs> so what do I offer you? Um, nothing. I'm fine. No? What do I offer you? Really, I am fine. Don't worry. Okay, if you insist. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Alice Walker. You're so beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, so, tell me about yourself. About myself? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's nothing special. Well, I'm David. I'm your neighbor. I live here and I'm here sitting with you. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you're so hilarious. <laughs> but, um... Why a gate man? Well, um, I had a rough start with life. You know, some we are born without a silver spoon. Why my sister and I we are born without a spoon at all. But we had God, life, family, and brains, which resulted to me getting a scholarship from a philanthropist. After my graduation, I went for the company's training. When it was time for me to get a juicy job, the CEO took ill which lasted for some years. Yes. Then as a man, I said, need less stay in one place and be watching everything. I started doing one or two things to help myself, at least to make ends meet. Thinking that miracle will happen someday. But after a year, the CEO died. And the foundation was shut down totally. I guess I... I dreamt a lot, thinking that all will be well again. You know, a, a wise man once told me that dreams do come true. But he forgot to tell me that nightmares are dreams too. That's the story of my life, which I will live with as it unfolds. So, do you think you have a life now? Hello? Are you kidding me? <laughs> See, yeah, I'm already earning. No matter how little, at least um, I'm building a future. Although I've already um, applied in tons of companies, hoping that um, one day it will click <laughs> and the real earnings will start. <laughs> and look at this babe right here. <laughs> Stop, you silly. <laughs> Oh, hmm. Um, Alice. Yeah. See, I, I had a girlfriend whom I really loved, but we separated because I couldn't afford her lifestyle. <laughs> You know, 
I would never have talked to you if we didn't come here. Why? For some reason, I felt very superior and could not have anything to do with certain kinds of people. And sometimes when I think about how I used to be, I regret some things. And somehow, us being broke now made the skills fall from my eyes. Hmm. For once, I've never seen someone glad to be broke. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's the only thing that opened my eyes to what life is really about. Or should I say I'm lucky you got broke? Huh? <laughs> no! <laughs> what do you mean? Look at who is talking. Look at you. Wait, wait, wait. Stop. Don't, don't, don't just stop. No. Remember the first day I saw you? <laughs> Remember how haggard you were looking? Oh, I don't know if you applied one black star for your lip. It's like you, you used charcoal. <laughs> you Probably you could not afford any lip gloss or lipstick. Wow. But I know what I'm saying. You weren't walking anyhow. Do you like know that? that Hello, charcoal. Baby. You be balling. You be feeling like the world moves around ya. Yeah. No breaks, no stopping. Yeah, you know, send nobody. But what you don't realize, life is so unpredictable. Yeah. In the blink of an eye, you lose everything you ever had. Nobody knows tomorrow. Away, the way you're living your life, don't forget tomorrow. Hey, Chef! Tell me now, how are you? I'm fine. Are you back? Yes. Oh my goodness, we have missed your food so much. Thank you so much. I'm happy hearing that from you. I am so sorry for how I treated you. I am really, really sorry. Me too. It's okay. It's fine. Thank you. So, Uncle. Mom, Mom what's going on? Um, Uncle Patrick, why, is, why are you here today? Calm down, Victor. Wait. I hope it's not the bank, Uncle. I hope they don't want to arrest my mom. We have more than enough time to pay them. What is it now? Nothing of such. I'm here to inform you the house has been recovered. What? What? Yep. Victor, Alice, Nora, your mother discovered all of you guys got out of the life and sacrifices and training she and your father made in bringing you up so she felt she never instilled values into you she decided to try one more time <laughs> mom you you staged all of this hearing you call me weak inspired me watching you maltreat the chef and being disrespectful to others made me feel like I was a horrible mother. So I had to show you the other side of life. And Mr. Patrick was ready to help. And what about the bankers? My bankers? <laughs> <laughs> yes. I was of opinion that... Um, we shouldn't um, tell you guys. But your mother uh, was sad that she kept lying to you people. And she couldn't keep up with it. So we decided to tell you guys the truth. Yeah, we'll discuss over dinner what should be done with what your father left. I am sure I have done my job. Letting you know that you can go from so much to so little quickly. 
I would have instilled this in you guys when you were growing up. But I'm glad I was able to try. Life has a way of honoring the humble and good people. What you had was a privilege. So it does not make you better than others. You know you're like a father to me, so I feel it's only right for me to introduce the man in my life to you. What is your name, young man? My name is David Oshie. And what do you do? I'm a security personnel, sir. Navy, Army, or Police. Uh, sir, I'm a get man. Oh, illiterate? No, sir. Where are you, sir? I'm a graduate. I graduated with first class in Oboe State University. I studied uh, industrial relations and personal management, sir. Impressive. Thanks. Really impressive. Thank you. I also did um, a training with Stab and Mobile. Wait. That's my father's company. Your father? Yes. Wait. Is your father Sir Williams Etobi? Yes! Oh my God! We, he was the one who saw me through... Your, like, your 94 initiative? Oh my... <laughs> Wait. Yes, he was. Destiny brought you back to us as Star Ben Mogul. Come by the office tomorrow. We'll be happy to have you back. Oh, thank you very much, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh. Thank you very much, sir. God bless you. <laughs> this is crazy, this thing. I never knew what this was. My goodness. Oh. Back to business. <laughs> what is your intention towards my daughter? Uh, yeah, sir, I. Mom, please forgive us. We are sorry for the things you heard us say about you. Mom, it does not reflect how we truly feel about you. And I'm going to get you a lot more jewelries. I know, you thief. <laughs> Well, I, I was scared of losing you kids to the craziness of this world after the money at your disposal. And mom, um, we promise. We've all decided that we want to make you proud and we're going to make good use of the resources. It's a promise, mom. I'm happy to hear that. We've decided that we no longer want to show off or live a lavish lifestyle. We want to be modest, just the way Dad raised us. It's a promise, Mom. I'm a happy mother now. <clears throat> Mommy, can I ask you something? Go ahead. What triggered this whole thing? Because it seems like you took your time to plan it. I was thinking about it, especially when your kids started behaving funny after your father's will was read. I was sad when I saw the message Mr. Patrick sent to me, that Victor had sent him a stinker after the job he offered him. And same time, Alice poured pineapple on the chef. I watched her unable to admit what Alice did to her. I was nasty to her. I don't even know why I sent him that message. That was so stupid of me. I'm so sorry, Mom. Yeah, thank God for everything. 
Joe, I was not happy when I got that message. Mr. Patrick sent me. But I knew I had to do what I was thinking all along and act fast. Wow. I'm stunned. Mom. Yes, dear. I am expecting someone. My goodness, Alice. Shut up. Oh, wait, what's going on? She's expecting someone she's in love with. Who? In love? We had to see Alex. Is she home? Welcome to the family. <laughs> Come Thank <in>. you. Just be careful what you do. Understand what I say. 